Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back playing Horizons 3. Uh, so we're getting pretty close here. We gotta get through the rest of Astral Sorcery today, and, you know, uh, continue our quest on being ridiculously overpowered. So we're gonna jump right into that. I mean, it's, uh, it's daytime out. I don't think there's much I can do. Let's see. Yeah, it's not even noon yet, but we'll, uh, we'll take a peek around. And I've left myself a couple of items over here, and, you know, let's take a look. So, as usual, got a couple of totems, levitation, resistance, and resistance. So, I'll take all of these guys. Yeah, we'll get all of the resistance. I wanted to try levitation, you know, I wasn't sure about it, but I figured, why not? Right? Oh, I can't get this resistance. I've already got resistance three. Okay, well, we'll uh, stick that in there. All right, uh, next couple of tables. So, the Akashic Tome. And there was something, and you know, I forget. There's something that I want to do with this book, and I'll have to look at its uses. Let's see. We can double most things with it, including Nether Stars. Okay. And this could be just a playing around with book. You know, I'm not seeing anything really amazing, but, you know, this is one of the items that I wanted to just look at and learn about. And from uh, what I understand, is it this one? Yeah. You've got to have this thing, the Altar of Light. And, you know, yeah, we got everything here. Let's, uh, yeah, you're a good place for an altar. So somehow, okay, I fed it a couple of redstone. And do I... Okay. I shift-click. Oh, okay. I shift-click and turn it on. And... Ah, it sucked all the redstone out of my inventory. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's get a whole bunch. Okay, you see it winding down there. So it's using redstone to charge up the book. All right. That's not bad. And then we can use the book to dupe items. Right? So this is the uh, tome. Let's just take a look here. Let's go back to uses. This is tome charging. Ah, redstone blocks might be better. Well, hold on. Let's do that. Uh, redstone. Wow, that really charges it. Okay. And another star. Not that I need the nether stars for anything. Ah, you can take redstone back out of it. Okay. So, for those blocks of redstone, I apparently don't have enough. Okay, let me suck in that redstone. Alright, cool. So, there we go. We just duped a bunch of nether stars. Turned one into six for the cost of a bunch of blocks of redstone. Eh, not bad. And I guess that's kind of a nice light source. I don't know. I just want to play with the blocks, right? right? And Reliquary's one we don't play with a lot. Uh, so this thing, Glowing Water. Let's take a look. Glowing Water, right? Pretty easy crafting. Plus, these common items gets me Holy Hand Grenades. This is an item that I want to play with later. Uh, and let's see. Oh, and you get the uh, vial back. Okay, cool. And then this thing. So, I'm going to show you this wand in a minute. The Hero's Medallion. So, last time I needed a witch hat, and I had enough stuff to make this, uh, let's see, coin of fortune, right? A bat wing, a slime pearl, this stuff. Pretty easy. And so, I want to look at this guy. Let's see, how do you work? Do you shift click? Oh, uh, yeah, look at it suck in my experience. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Do I have to hold you? No, I don't. Okay. I just wanted to see how much it could hold. I mean, we might as well empty out our 21,000 levels. I don't know. Is it slowing down? Looks like it was going there like crazy for a minute, but we'll just let it drain in the background. Not a big deal. All right. I think that's just about everything. I gotta wait for it to be night to uh, show you the wand. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see, are we? Yeah. All right, so I'll probably have to do this in a couple of cuts. 
Uh, let's see. But one of the things I needed to get the uh, to get the tome, this guy was uh, this right here, Eye of the Storm, and this is uh, it says Creeper, but I know it's not. Drops from charged creepers. How do you get charged creepers? I mean, wait for lightning to hit them? I don't think so. That takes forever. So what I would do is I got one of these uh, engraved thunder. Right, I got it out of a loot bag or somewhere, but I mean, not hard crafting. And we'd come over and let's find a creeper like this one. There we go. Uh, if I didn't go blind from the other mob. And I'd kill him. Same thing, one after the other after the other. Make him a charged creeper, kill him. Alright, that guy who's making me blind needs to go away forever. Come on, dude. Oh, and your friend. All right, so now I want to get... Hey, where's the base? This way. Uh, let's get up to the uh, Astral Sorcery area. So I put a waystone up there, and I figure that's probably the best way to travel. So let's get right in here. I am going to throw in these hand grenades into this chest. This is a chest of uh, stuff I don't want to forget about. All right, so let's just dump out the things that we don't need. All right, so here we go. Uh, astral crafting. Right up here. All right, so I want to show you... Uh, hey, where's my book? Oh, did I just put it in the uh, refined storage system? Yeah, it's this one. I need this bag. All right, so I need the Skywave Resonator. So last time we were here, this was a mountaintop. Look at this starlight. Wow! So when I build the next one, I'm going to have to shift it this way a little bit. But that is some crazy starlight. All right, so here's what we need. we got to get this thing right here. And this is the, uh, I don't know what they call this thing, the tool, the linking tool. So I'm going to get this guy, right, just like that. Get away from the loudness. Come on. You can do it. There we go, get the linking tool. And then we're going to shoot back to the house again. And I need that crystal that's just outside the house up here. And we'll come up here, yeah, right here. And let's get this iron ore and this linking tool. So I put down my iron ore, and I think I click on this and click this guy. There we go. So I'm actually going to do it for a couple of spots. Click on this one, here, 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 and here. Oops, eh, didn't mean to wreck the wall, but whatever. We'll, uh, here, we'll fix the wall. And I know I'm splitting the light, and that'll probably take a little while, but I need a bunch of this star metal ore. There we go. Might as well change over some just like this. Oh, I don't have my magnet on. I should have my magnet on. Uh, let's see. Let's get this. I don't know. I'm going to get like 10 pieces maybe. We'll start there. And we'll see how it goes. Come on. Change it over. You know what I'm going to do now that I think about it? In case we need more. Because this is going to take a while, right? The more you split it, the longer it's going to take. Well, I don't care if I'm not here, right? So we'll just link it all the way around. Link, 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 link. I don't know. This could be a great idea. It could be a terrible idea. We'll let that work. So I'm going to take some of the star metal ore. And, hey, that's weird. I couldn't, I couldn't open the door with it in my hand. Uh, let's see, machine room. So, uses on the star metal ore. I can smelt it for an ingot, and I can pulverize it for dust. All right, so pulverizer. You can have, like, I don't know, three maybe? Right, we'll pulverize those, and we're going to smelt these. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to pick it back up because we need this stuff. All right, star metal, star metal... 
back up to Astral Crafting. All right, so let's take a look in our book here. Uh, exploration. So I'm going to need a hand telescope, which means I need a glass lens. Click to see recipe. No. Lens. Right here. So panes around a uh, an aquamarine. Okay. So let's grab some panes. And let's grab some aquamarine. Aqua. Right? And I should be able to put this here. Come on. There we go. All right. Got to do that. That should get me some glass panes. Going to need this wand. I'm just under the cloud level. Like, I don't know why the clouds are black. Okay. Got a couple of glass lenses. All right. So then I'm going to want... Let's go back to telescope. So I need sticks, gold, and a plank. All right. Nope, not that one. Sticks, gold, and planks. All right, let's see. Terrible memory, but we'll give it a try. Sticks, gold, plank, and one of those. All right. Okay, now we got a hand telescope. And so with the hand telescope, I could look up in the sky, and I've got to try to find some stars that, as I look around, move kind of differently than other ones. Like, they're on a different plane. And you know, oh, 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 right, right here, I found some. I found some. Oops. Let's see. How do I hold it still? I don't remember. Oh, uh, right there. Shift. Right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And what I've got to do is I come into my book, and let me get out these constellation papers, and I've got to find somebody that looks like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So this might be Amara. Right? Uh, I can't find it. Where'd you go? That might be Amara, although this one goes up to the right. Let's take a look here. One, two, three. No, there's too many there. All right. A Forcio, maybe? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. All right, that's, that's probably the one. So let's get this guy lined up here. Shift. Right, and I think it was like this. Right there, right here. No, nope, I got to do that again. Okay, right here. Uh-oh, is it becoming daytime out? Did I lose the night? The stars are fading. Go fast. Found a Vorcio. Ah, it's daytime. All right, well, I got one. What do I got for starlight left? Could we do this kind of telescope? Because this makes my life easier. Could I do this telescope? Okay, so that there and plank, and this, and three sticks. Nope, I need that amount of starlight. All right, so give me a second. Let me uh, get to the next day, and I'll see you in just a second. All right, so we're getting there. Sun's almost down. Uh, let's see what our starlight level is like here. Uh, we're almost there. We'll be there in just a minute. I'm still collecting liquid starlight because I think we're going to need it. Uh, so looking ahead, we've got to move this altar up pretty far. And so I'm going to need to do a bunch of stuff. We will need this telescope. All right, so let's, uh, you know, I can put this guy in my inventory. Are you there? Yes, you are. All right, so we're going to get that telescope and we'll set it aside. I just looked, and I'm going to need a, a bunch of these things to get crafted. And then we've got to work on this altar. All right, so there's the telescope, right? Give me this telescope. Uh, you know what, telescope? You can go right up there. Might as well put you on the high point. All right, so I'm going to need spectral relays. 
And to get spectral relays, I need glass lenses. So I got to do this. And I got the aquamarine. All right, so I'm going to do this. We'll make a ton of these lenses. I can do it. Might as well. Let's see what we can see through this telescope while that does that. So this telescope, you don't have to search around. You can just click right through them, right? There's all the ones we found. And so if I knew what some of these were, I'd draw them out. And I'll probably do that. Oh, I know what you are. I know what you are. Are you like this? Let's see. And then up and up and over and here and like that and then maybe across oh come on I know what you are okay I'm gonna do this one no I gotta go like this alright no I already put back the paper that I needed not you yeah this one make a triangle okay alright so this one is We'll do the outline right here. All right, make this triangle like this. Up, over, up, over. There we go, Amara. It's not the one I want, but, you know, we'll get there. All right, and then I'm going to put that one away. And you can see them in the night sky now that I've found them, wherever that other one was. Oh, there it is. All right, so I got all those lenses. Let's work on the altar itself. Starlight crafting altar, that's what we already have. All right, so back out here, I'm going to want the celestial altar. Right? I don't think. Let me look. Is there anything else I need in here? Yeah, I need this guy, the attunement. All right, four rune marble, a spectral relay. Okay, so we got to make the spectral relays. Hey, I got them right here. Gold Nugs. Looks like these are all pillars. Uh, planks and pillars. All right. So let's see. Let's grab some gold nuggets and planks. And we'll grab pillars. Oop. Misfire. All right. So take that out of there. And these guys in the middle, maybe like that, maybe this, maybe that. Well, that's not bad. All right, so I can make 32 of those. That's many more than I need, but then we won't have to deal with it. Ah, that's pretty cool. I got two of them. Where's the moon? Night's half done. All right, so after this, we got to get to it. So let's uh, go back to the book. Two-star metal, unattuned, unatt no, regular rock crystal, aquamarine, and ruined marble. All right, so ruined. I've got aquamarine. I'm going to need a crystal. Got a crystal. How many of those did I get? 14? All right, well, my, maybe I can only do so many at a time. All right, and star metal ingots. Okay, star metal ingots. The crystal, I don't know, aquamarine. Right? Okay. And then this guy. Oh, I just looked at it. Oh, yeah, the ruined marble. Swear the brain just goes away some days. All right, so we need this guy. We need it to work with that thing over there. Do I need anything else from this mod? No, no ritual pedestal. None of this stuff. Right? So it's celestial altar. And that's pretty easy to do, too. All right, so we'll get that guy later. All right, so we need the star dust in the corners. Star dust. And aquamarine. All right, aquamarine. Can do. Going to need a crystal. All right. Uh, let's see, what else do I need? Chiseled marble. All right. Chiseled marble. All right, so maybe you were there. I feel like you guys were there. Uh, no, pillars. Okay, pillars. Let's see. So you guys go up one. 
and then pillars. Yeah, that's the thing we need. All right, that's going to take a minute. And then what I've got to do, uh, while that, after that crafts, it's no longer valid. So what I've got to do is I've got to go build this thing. And, you know, this is not hard to build, but i just got to make a new structure, and then hopefully a new chapter will open up in the book. And that'll let us get to where we need to get to. Oh, and I can put this other thing down here, right? The attunement. So let's see, where's the middle of this guy? Right about here, maybe? I feel like, like, right there is the middle. Yep, and I know I'm right, because look at the star field. And so now, if I uh, want to get to a certain, uh, you know, a certain one of the uh, attunements, so I would take out my book, and i got to find one of these guys, and I would hold it in my hand, and see all the blue dots that appear? That's where I would put spectral relays. Problem is, I don't have the one that I actually want. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to put these guys away. Yep, and then i got to pick this altar up. All right, so I'm going to build myself a new altar, and, uh, you know, then we'll come back the next night. All right, so new structures are built. Uh, sun's going down. And, you know, while I was doing this, I learned the cheatiest thing ever. Uh, so I needed a special kind of marble. What I didn't know was you can chisel the marble into any of the other marbles. Like, I was specifically needed this engraved marble. And you can do this crafting in the luminous crafting table. Or you can just chisel it. I'm not sure how I feel about that, right? Like, there's a whole order of events that are supposed to go on. So this is the next level pedestal. A little bit bigger, and I did shift it uh, that way. And then I've got this over here, which this is going to be for um, resonating things. And I should have... Oops. Yeah, I should have the piece that goes on top of it all set up. Sorry, we got to hustle here, you know? We only get so much uh, starlight, and I can't stop time. I wish I could in this pack, or at least, you know, hurry it up to the next night. So it leads to a million cuts and everything else, but I just want to get to that point of using that thing over there. All right, so this guy comes over here. All right, so the starlight infuser goes there, and then, don't I have a bucket? I don't have a bucket. I'm always out of buckets. Let's see. I'm going to need this bucket right there. All right, so we got to fill this guy up with starlight, and thankfully, I was making a bunch. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to do this step, so I just kind of let the tank run. Right there, here, there. All right. Because the point I've got to get to is, uh, let's see, I want this right here, Dissidia. And to get Dissidia, I need an iridescent altar. And so to get the iridescent altar, I'm going to need all of this stuff. Parchment, that's luminous crafting. I don't know. I could swear that I needed something in that other altar. But let's take a look. Okay, so coming back, not this chapter. Uh, is Constellation the new one? Yeah, from here, I've got the Starlight Infuser. Now it's the Iridescent Altar. Yeah, that's what I need right there. Is that the next one? I feel like I'm skipping one. No, I guess that's the next one. I could do some other things, like I could get the Stellar Refraction Table and get some spell effects going on. But this is all I really want to do with the mod. So I just need Resonating Gems. Well, that's pretty easy. So Gems and my Wand. Alright, so click the gem on. And this one, for some reason, and I like it, is like the only one that doesn't make a ton of noise. Alright, just a little ding-ding. Oh. We used a bucket of starlight right there. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All right, last one. Yep, just like that. All right, over here. So let's get our book out, and we'll do this one step at a time. All right, so we need ruined in an X. 
right, round in this X formation. That's where my bucket was. All right, uh-oh. I might not have enough starlight. I might have to do something else. An attuned celestial crystal or a celestial crystal. Okay, I can do that. So I'm going to need a crystal. Let me get one of these guys. Is this? No, that's not how I do it. I do it, um, yeah. Let me just make a hole here. And this one's going to be a little difficult to do. Man, my inventory is awful. All right, so I'll throw that guy in there. Yeah, let's see if I can get far enough away and still hit the shot. All right, so, you know, I'm just going to delete this. So I should be able to drop that and a Stardust. Nope. Okay, new plan. New plan. we got to take the magnet off. That's why I've been holding on to that. All right, so we'll take that and that. And they got to soak for a minute. And you should become a Celestial Crystal. And I actually might have to make a couple of these if I need the Starlight. Sooty Marble and the Resonating Gems. All right, so Resonating Gems can do. Sooty Marble can do. Right? Oh, a glass lens. Oh, I threw them in refined storage. I didn't think I was going to need any more. A glass lens. And where did that go? Right above where the crystal's going to go. Why is there an extra one? Yeah, that's just a mistake. All right, so... Oh, that's right. I got to let this guy grow. I got to let him grow. And, you know, eh, we still had some night left. I got to let him grow. And, you know, I'm probably going to make a couple of them now that I think about it. Um, because I'm probably going to need multiples. I might have to power up the altar with some celestial crystals. And I might even have to attune them. I don't know. I got to increase their power. So let's make a couple of these guys. And let's see what we can get for crystals. So these I actually care about. So purity, 82%. Right? Uh, these are all in 75%. I don't know that that makes a big difference, but it can't hurt me. Hey, I said get in there. Why is it coming right back? There we go. I didn't think I was that close. All right, so, and you, and you. All right, let those cook. And now, yet again, I've got to wait, and I've got to let these guys grow. That's going to take a while. All right, so a long time later, I've got one done, and I think I've got a couple more. I had to let them grow. And I'm not sure what happens if you pick them up at the wrong stage, but I think this is the final stage. There we go. And so I get this guy now. Uh, his size is a little small. His purity is kind of low. So perfect for crafting. So I'll stick this one in here. There's the next altar. Oh, new animation. New animation. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's get a little out of the noise here. So after this, it looks like I'm going to have to build a new altar. But I need to know what's in the book. Because I'm doing all of this just so I can attune myself, and I don't have the right paper to do it. And I went and tried to find it, and I couldn't find it. Oh, yeah, look at that pretty thing. Uh, I couldn't find it, so we have to make it. Yeah, right here. Whoa. Okay, let's take a look at this chapter. What the heck? Wand attunement? Oh, Dissidia. Uh, let's see. While holding the wand, consecutive attacks to the same target will deal significantly more damage. Really? I didn't know anything about this. Uh, boy. So that's the problem. I'm going to want to do a couple of things that, you know, I need to hold stuff in my hand. All right. Well, that's something for me to think about. Wand attunements, focused crafting, blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I've got to make the new structure. I don't think I could make it that fast. Right, this guy. Well, let's go back here. Attunement. Uh, the Celestial Altar. Yeah. Okay, maybe it wasn't that one. I feel like at Constellation we already did. Oh no, okay, Iridescent Altar. So what is different here? This is just marble bricks. Right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Bricks. So it looks... It looks like... Let me look underneath here. Yeah, okay. So it looks like that, 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 that. Right? This, 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 this. And that, 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 that. One more. This, this, this. Okay, and then look back in the book. And they come out two in each direction. Right? Two, like that. So they almost touch. All right. Yep, that looks like it to me. All right, so this tells me this is a valid thing. And, you know, we'll give it a shot. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, let's see, so Dissidia. This thing. Oh, man, I need parchment, which is paper and aquamarine. All right, paper. And I've got aquamarine on me. So this, 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 this. And that, all right, give me parchment. And I think I can still regular craft with it, all right. Uh, so parchment, you are going to go in the middle. And then let's come back over here. Feather, black dye, and two stardust. Okay. And... We should have all of this one die. All right. Right. And what else do we need? And it looks like flint and then iron arrow redstone. All right. Flint. Iron. Oops, not flint iron. Iron. Arrow. Why is right click not working? And redstone. All right, so let's see here. This was uh, flint, 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 flint. Now, how do I put those other things on? I must be missing something. Oh, I bet you it's going to tell me. I bet you it's going to tell me. Hold on. Dissidia. Dissidia. Yeah, I'm willing to bet you that it's going to tell me. So I just need to put flint all the way around. And am I out of starlight? Ah, oh, I'm out of starlight. All right. I'm so close to getting this paper. Uh, I'm going to cut one last time, and we'll let the night go, and I just want to see what happens. All right. Give me one second. All right. So I think I've got it. Uh, I read some more and it said I had to add spectral relays on the ground, and so we just got to wait for it to fill up. Now, I'm not sure what goes up in that slot. You know, it's, uh, right, I just got to follow the crafting here. Constellation paper, right, so I've got all of this stuff in there, and I'm pretty sure it's valid because it's showing me I need this much starlight. And I don't know what that is, but we're going to learn together. So I've got the things that looked like they were outside uh, right here. And what I think is going to happen is I think this guy's going to shoot down beams and tell me, hey, you need to put this thing here. I don't actually know that, though. I've never done this part. So just a little bit more. And I might make some collector crystals and a couple more relays uh, between now and next episode, just so I can speed up the entire process. You know me, I'm impatient. All right, 
almost there. Just this little bit to go. I just want to see what happens. I probably need to get that guy out, too. Yeah, yeah. come on. We're so close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm there. Do it. Okay. Okay, so you're telling me you need a piece of flint. Here, have one. Alright, alright. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Okay, you want the iron. Boom! Left or right? Left or right? Sorry, this is super loud, but I gotta stand here. Oh, there's the arrow. Bang! So that'll make this last guy the redstone. Okay, I totally get how this crafting works. I was wondering where the extra stuff went. And right there. Alright, so at least you know what it is ahead of time. I was afraid it was going to be like random guesses, like, hey, could you figure it out? Alright, so you got all your stuff. You should give me the paper. Give me the paper. Man, this one takes a while. Kind of pretty visuals, though. Hello, are you ever going to be done? There we go, finally. All right. And so that gets me the constellation paper for Dissidia. And now I can move on to the next steps and do the other things and kind of finish this off. But I'm going to do that next time. So I'm going to call it here for today. Uh, I think it's been a pretty good episode. This is a hard mod to get all the way through in just a few minutes. So we'll, uh, we'll finish it up next time. I'm 47 Mark IV. I hope you enjoyed. I'd appreciate any uh, comments or likes that you want to leave me. And I will see you in the next episode.